Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you step by step Muslim bridal makeup tutorial for beginners. One of my lovely subscribers Asia Sheikh asked me to do this tutorial as she's going to do her own bridal makeup on her big day. And also she mentioned not to fast forward any of the clips because she want everything to be clear and how products works on the skin and everything. And she also asked to do the bridal look with the products that lost a really long time without melting away as she lives in a very humid place. And of course I said yes to her because I haven't done a full on coverage bridal makeup which for me feels like forever. So if you would like to see how to get this gorgeous and glamorous bridal makeup look then please keep watching. So I'm starting off with a good skincare first. I'm taking this Hyaluronic Pink Serum and I'm applying this all over my skin. And please do not use any kind of active acids on your big day because you don't need any kind of surprises like pimples, redness, irritation and the stuff like that. So use hydrating and soothing serums like Hyaluronic Acid Serums and also do a facial two days before so that your skin is more glowy and plump and ready for the full coverage makeup and then i'm taking my incredible roller lip gloss in the shade fine love and i'm applying this all over my lips to hydrate plump and make the lips juicier by the time i put lipsticks on and now taking my anastasia beverly hills brow freeze styling wax i'm going to lift my brows up with a spoolie brush and applying this will make your gaze super perky and beautiful but Make sure you use this before applying your foundation because you don't want your eyebrows to look white or flaky. Now I'm going to stick some sticky tapes on either sides of my eyes just to make sure I do my eye makeup and wings and everything perfect as it is a beginner friendly tutorial. Then to prime my eyelids I'm grabbing Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay in the shade. This is actually two shades lighter than my actual skin tone and I'm applying this all over my eyelids and then blending everything out with a blending brush. And I often get questions like why i use this as a base because if you use this as a eye primer your eye makeup just stays there and nothing moves from its place and then grabbing this shade from rare beauty true to myself eyeshadow palette and i'm brushing this all over my eyelids and also overall crease and brow bone area to set that concealer in place and make sure every eyeshadow blend in smoothly and easily Taking this beautiful House Laboratories Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Aphrodite, I'm running this all over my eyelids. Antique golds and shimmers are super staple in bridal kits, but instead of using a gold color right away, make sure you add a cream base to make that whatever gold eyeshadow you put on top pops and also stays put throughout the day. Taking this gorgeous gorgeous gold glitter eyeshadow from the same Rare Beauty palette and this one is called Accepting and instead of putting it directly, I'm gonna first wet my brush with some setting spray and then apply the glitter on top and this way it pops and also sticks on well without having any kind of fallouts. Taking this shade called Undeniable, I'm gonna apply this along my crease as a transition color. And you can really see me working that up in the crease in kind of like windshield wiper motion until I'm happy with it the way it is looking. And I don't have to worry about it too much. This color is just for placement purposes and I'm gonna use more colors to deepen up the crease. 
now grabbing this cool brown color called loyal i'm running this along my crease as well and as i said earlier i'm gonna take baby steps and deepen up the crease little by little and color by color Taking this dark chocolate brown color from one size visionary eyeshadow palette, I'm applying this in the outer corner of my eyes like in a V shape and it adds a gradient to my eyes and gives some shape and not flat. And I'm also very slightly blending that into my crease just so that there are no harsh lines and also stop on start lines either. Taking my current obsession Stila Smudge Pot which is in the shade Jet Black in color, I'm slowly and patiently drawing a wing starting from the inner corner to the outer part of my eyes with an angled brush. And because we have sticky tapes on both sides, we don't have to worry about the mess and anyone can create a super perfect winged eyeliner look with the sticky tapes on both sides. And once I'm done with the winged line, I'm gonna take off the tape and you can see the perfection there. And then I'm gonna extend that line in towards the outer, sorry, lower lash lines and make sure the outer part is looking neat with no gaps. And here you have to slowly and patiently extend the line without messing up. And I did the exact same thing to the other eye as well and because she asked to, to be clear I'm gonna break down this look into very simple and clear steps so that you can learn from this. Taking this jet black eyeshadow from One Size Visionary palette and this is in the shade Turban Legend and I'm packing this color right on top of that gel liner to make it last a really really long time and also to make sure that liner from getting transferred to the other areas. Taking the loyal eyeshadow again, I'm going to smudge the lower part of the eyeliner and also to make that nice and smoky and not blob of black looking there. Then grabbing Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner, it is just to further make the eyeliner look nice and neat and perfect. And also I saw so many Muslim brides wearing this inner corner slightly extended wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend that inner corner like an Arabic liner look. And there's no way I'm gonna finish the eye look without adding glitter. So I'm taking my Urban Decay Heavy Metals Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy and I'm brushing it out all over my eyelids. First, I was gonna 
just align this along the wing but then i thought of applying it all over the lids and this makes the eye look super super poppy and especially under the golden lights you look amazing and super sparkly And also make sure you apply this as a inner corner highlight and this adds a twinkle and whenever you open and close your eyes people get mesmerized by the way it looks and also make sure to let it completely dry before moving on to the next step if not all the glitter will stick on to the places you don't want to be in and then coming back to the face i'm taking tarte lotion and i'm applying this all over my skin and this primer as you can see adds a super glowy effect to your skin and also fills in any kind of pores and make your foundation blend in smoothly and seamlessly In order to make the foundation look flawless and even tone, I'm going to color correct my skin a bit. So I'm taking LA Girl Pro Conceal and Correct Orange Corrector and I'm applying this wherever I have like discoloration, pigmentation, blue bags, purple tones and the things like that. And then I'm going to blend it in with a beauty sponge. Taking my NYX HD concealer in medium shade, I'm gonna apply this in the center of my face like under my eyes, center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and around my mouth as well. And then as always, I'm gonna blend it well with a damp beauty blender. And this is just to conceal the overall pigmented areas a little more because I saw Muslim Bright's skin is super bright, full coverage and also flawless with even toned color. For foundation, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 305N and this has this yellow brightening undertone effect to it and I'm applying this all over my face and then blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. Taking NYX HD concealer and this time in yellow shade, I'm gonna apply this to highlight and brighten the center of my face. And also I have full pops of colors theme going on on my eyes. So in order to handle the darkness, my under eyes should be fully covered and bright. If not, you look dull in your pics and videos. In order to make your contour, blush and highlighter stay super long and also make your face look symmetrical, you have to go with cream products underneath your powders so first i'm gonna grab this kaja beachy stamp shimmer bronzer in the shade toasty and i'm applying that in the areas where i would naturally apply the bronzer and following the natural shadows on your face make you look really beautiful symmetrical and sharp and sculpted
Taking Rodial blush drops in the shade Frosted Pink, I'm taking two drops on back of my hand and then apply that onto the apples of my cheeks with a beauty sponge. And then grabbing my iconic London Illuminator in the shade Blush, I'm going to apply this wherever the lights naturally hits and reflects. Once we apply the cream products, it's time to set them in place with some powders. So I'm taking my favorite Urban Decay Stay Naked Bronzer Blush and Highlighter Palette. First I'm taking the bronzer shade and I'm setting the bronzer bits in place real quick with a contour brush. Next, grabbing the blush shade, I'm gonna apply this on top of that cream blush onto the apples of my cheeks. To set the highlighter, I'm taking Mary Luminizer Illuminating Powder from the Balm Cosmetics and I'm applying this wherever we have applied the cream highlighter. To set my makeup in place, I'm grabbing MAC Fix Plus Bronze Light Spray and I'm not gonna directly spray this onto my face because it's just gonna mess up the eye makeup. So instead, I'm spraying my beauty sponge and then bounced that beauty sponge all over my skin. And this removes any kind of excess makeup and also make your makeup look less powdery and more glowy. And before I forget, I'm going to set the center of my face with a brightening powder. So I'm grabbing my Anastasia Bioli Hills powder in the shade Banana and I'm applying this under my eyes, around my mouth and nose. And I'm also applying this under my contour just to clean up the edges and make the cheek hollows look sharp. And while my beauty sponge is still wet, I'm gonna grab some powder and pack my under eyes because I'm gonna take a dark brown eyeshadow and diffuse the lower lash lines real quick and having powder underneath helps in brushing out any fallouts without making any mess. And once I'm done with the diffusing of lower lash lines, I'm gonna go ahead and brush out that powder and, and see there's no any fallouts or transfer. In any culture and in any part of the world, brides get super emotional, so make sure the water lines are nice and protected from tears. So I'm using a NYX waterproof eyeliner and also this is retractable, so if you want to retouch, then just take it out from your bridesmaid's purse and just pop on and you are good to go again. I'm not gonna use any falsies, instead I'm gonna curl my lashes with a eyelash curler. 
If you want, you can go ahead and pop some falsies, but my lashes are naturally long, so I'm not gonna use one. And then for mascara, I'm grabbing MAC 3D Extreme Dimension Mascara and I'm applying tons of coats onto my upper and lower lashes. And tons of coating means applying again and again until my lashes look voluminous, thick and spread out like as shown. Taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Pro Pomade in the shade Chocolate and I'm filling in my brows. And Muslims have very thick, beautiful brows. And I do have naturally thick brows, but their brows are super thick and voluminous and beautiful. So I'm using a bit dark color and fill in my brows and give it some shape as well. And I totally took this inspiration from Aishwarya Rai in Salam Song. And I believe it's from Mughali Azam movie if you haven't seen that song then please do she looks stunning as muslim and for lips i'm taking this brick rng brown lipstick from smashbox and it's in the shade out loud and i'm applying this all over my lips and i kid you not guys this lipstick stays on forever and feels so velvety on the lips and also you don't need any lip liner underneath or to contour the lips it's just the applicator does all the work for you and i feel like this lipstick went really well with the overall eye makeup first i applied a light layer and then doubled the layer for more intensity and color For hair, I just brushed all over and then set my bang section aside and then pulled all my hair back into a bun and then with the remaining bang section, I parted it to the left and right and then grabbed the thick bang section. I clipped that section along the forehead to the back towards the bun and secured that with some bobby pins or hair clips. And now I'm gonna pop on my head jewelry so I'm sticking my mang tikka and chand tikka to the side like Muslim brides do and sprayed back any flyaways I may have and also popped overall jewelry as well and this you guys is the makeup look complete thank you so so much everyone for watching I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this full length very detailed Muslim bridal makeup look on Asia's request Please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video and the button is just right here on the screen and also like this video if you do and I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!